Okay, here we go. I'm back. All right, we um, we wrote the play game function, right? And we have two more functions to write now: uh, get new route and move target. But before we do that, we have put in the target state zero. Let's we have to do something else before we move on, and that is we're going to have to make some changes here to the beginning of our um, movie our variables. Right here, if you remember, we have the different depth levels of all the different objects. Well, what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to change the birdhouse to number two. Okay. And then um, after the birdhouse, we're going to set up a new variable for our target movie clip, the bird that we're going to be um, bringing in from the library, the one you saw in the last movie. So target depth is a number equal to, let's say, 3. Okay, that means this guy needs to be 4, um, 5, 6, 7, and I'm going to make this one 11. And if you haven't seen it, the var uh, reload depth is equal to number 10, but we're going to assign that in another function, so I commented that out. So hopefully you can see that right there. All right, so we've set now, we've got a new target depth. Var target depth is number 3. And then now in the attach movie, I need to attach the target movie. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see here. Attach movie. Open and close parentheses and a semicolon. And I named it target. And I'm going to rename it. It's a new name. Also to target. That makes it easy. And I'm going to set it to target underscore depth. And I just double checked that I did name it that. Target underscore depth. Yeah, that should work. Okay. And it's going to, by default, if I attach it like that, it's going to attach in the upper uh, left-hand corner at x0, y0. So I'll now set its properties to target dot underscore x to negative 100. Oops, equal to negative 100. And y can stay 0 as long as the x is negative 100 so we won't see it. So it'll be off to the left, basically, off screen. Okay, and then um, and that's it for right there. Okay. Okay. I'm looking through here. All right, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. Okay, we're going to go all the way down to Game On. And the other thing we're going to do is now that we have a movie clip called Target, we're going to have um, a special attribute called Target dot route flip. And it's capital F. So Target dot route flip equal to zero to start with and I'll explain that later and I'm gonna set the and the target state is already set to zero so we've got that so I added this piece into the game on function alright and it's time to go all the way down now and start work on our big function and right before we start our new function I'm gonna set up a variable and I'm gonna put this variable outside of all the other functions so I make sure that it's available to everyone var score is a number equal to zero. All right. And then after I do that, this is where I'm going to start my new function right here. Function get capital N new capital R route. Get new route capital N capital R. All right. And this will be our next uh, major function where we get a new route for our 
um, target which we've attached to the movie screen. So now we um, have attached the duck to the movie. If you want to test this out, you see, we'll go like that. It's going to look exactly the same. Yes, it looks exactly the same. Hey, look, there is the duck in the upper left-hand corner. If you don't believe me, it's still showing a little bit. If you don't believe me, I will turn off the setting of the X property right here. And now you'll see it even more. There it is. Now you see it in the upper left-hand corner. So that tells me that I need to set this to negative 120 to get him out of the way. Yep, now I can't see him in the upper left-hand corner. All right, we'll come back in the next movie, and we will um, write this function, get new route.